Hi, I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, and we are here at Quartz Fest. This is uh, January 2019, and I've got in my hands here the little uh, sticks. They're like ham sticks, but they're MFJ brand. And the first thing I have to do is pull the stingers out and set them so they're about four inches into each. And then I've got some pieces of mast here that were gifted to me. And they're ham. Uh, they're aluminum. They fit into each other. And I've got five of them, so they go up 20 feet, which should get it up well above the roof of the motorhome. And then we will attach them to the hub. So what I'm going to do right now with each one of these little uh, handy sticks here, there is the, there's sticks here for 20, uh, 40, 80, and 10. So those are the bands that we're gonna go. You can get them for any band. They are not interchangeable, okay? So let's just, uh, what we're gonna do is take on each one of these, the little extension here, right? Okay, and we're gonna stick it back in there Whichever one it came from. <laughs> I better take these apart and do them one at a time. Okay. These come in yellow plastic sleeves, as the video showed earlier. Okay. So we're going to figure out which one that was, and that was this one, and we're going to put it down in here a little ways, about four inches. We're going to endeavor to put them in about the same length on each band, but the instructions suggest starting here with uh, four inches. So I'm going to do that for all of these. And then when we go to put the bands up, we will put one band up at a time, see what we can do with it. Okay, that one is done. And I'll just continue that till I've got these all done. All right, so what we're gonna do is take these now and put them on the uh, hub. And we looked at this in the last video. This is the hub. And we're going to do it kind of upside down because we're going to twist it around and put it on this thing and then attach that to the awning uh, to do our uh, tasks with it. So what we need to do is get these opposite to each other. So this is a 40 meter. So it doesn't matter because half of the, no, these, these are ground on the ground side, these are on the hot side, and then there's a choke ballon here to take that balanced to unbalanced. Now I'm not going to worry about putting them in real tight for tests because they're nice and clean, so they're going to give a real nice connection. All right, and there's a 40, I should look for the other 40. This thing rapidly gets big. Uh, Seventy-five 
75 and 75, we're going to put opposite to the same. And we're going to take these bowls. strong and for a mast, since actually you need something for this, it's pretty small, this is going to go in there like that, and then it will go in here like that. Okay, so what we're going to do is just see how we do with the thing just put up because I have a feeling this thing's gonna be a little hard to finesse and I'm going to do this part and then stop here because this is a two-person job to get that antenna up there hold it in place get it taped up and so on I was a little foolish trying to do it as one person but uh, need two people so you can take the thing down, make adjustments, put it back up, check your readings, and so on. So let's start out. We're going to start out in the uh, 75 meter band. Okay, it's uh, 1 to 1 at 3.7 megahertz, which is not bad. It's lower. It's in the 75 meter phone band, but it's kind of square in the middle of the 75 meter phone band. Now, if we look at this, 2 to 1 SWR at 3.707. It's down to 1 to 1 and 
back up to 2 to 1 at 3.735. So 2.708 to 3.717 to 3.734 is a very narrow bandwidth, which you would expect on an antenna such as this because it's greatly shortened and very heavily loaded. So you can have very narrow bandwidth. So you're going to want to figure out which part of 80 meters you want to use, your favorite net, something like that, and then set that thing up. I don't think you'll be able to get it down much lower in frequency because I, I had the uh, antenna elements about that far in. If you take them out a little bit, you can lower the frequency a bit, but you're going to get to the point where there's nothing holding on to the uh, uh, whip part. Okay? Unfortunately, the wind noise on the camera got really bad, so uh, let me tell you what I learned yesterday when I uh, set this thing up on uh, 40 at tuned 1 to 1 at 7 megahertz, which meant that uh, by shortening the antenna slightly, I should be able to move that sweet spot anywhere in the 40 meter band. Uh, the 20 and the 10 bands, I didn't find a nice sweet spot, so uh, I'm thinking what's happening is that the sides are not equal. So I'm going to go in and equalize those sides and make them look good. Um, I did get on last night with the thing 20 feet in the air here and talked to another ham here at Quartzsite who was so loud that <laughs> just I had the volume just about all the way off on my little uh, QRP Labs QCX radio. Okay, so that wraps it up. Please remember all the great things I usually say about decastlercom slash support, uh, the tip jar, Patreon. Uh, if you need the amateur extra videos, those are available to order. Uh, there's a list of Amazon stuff up there that if you order, I get a little bit of a, a finder's fee. And until we meet next, 73 from Quartzite, Arizona at Quartzfest. Fest.